briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The United States Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit heard Lundin v. Cordner in 1966. The case revolved around determining the rightful beneficiaries of a life insurance policy and annuity contributions. Initially, in 1956, Joseph Cordner designated his two children from his first marriage as equal beneficiaries. However, after remarrying and having a child with his second wife, a dispute arose over whether Mr. Cordner had changed the beneficiaries. The district court awarded summary judgment to Northwestern National Bank, the trustee of Cordner's will. The plaintiff, Cordner's former wife, appealed the decision. The contest for the proceeds was between Maureen and Michael Cordner, the original beneficiaries, and France Jean Cordner. Joseph Cordner's second wife. The court determined that there was no genuine dispute concerning critical material facts, meaning a summary judgment was appropriate. It found that Mr. Cordner had completed the necessary steps to change beneficiaries without evidence of fraud or mistake. The opposing party did not use discovery procedures to confirm suspicions, leading the court to uphold the summary judgment under the insured's last will. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.